guys, and welcome back. Oh, hold on. Oh, I cut my hair, so now the uh, my hair is really short, so the uh, the spongy stuff on my headset feels like weird, and it's slightly pulling my hair. All right. I gotta remember controls. Oh. That does that. Remember this. Okay. No. No. Oh, that was almost bad. Let's finish this quickly. Hey, I was able to do it. I was expecting myself to just like utterly fail. Wow, that was amazing. Alright, I need to try this out, because it's like deafening me. Cause it's quite loud. It was over before it started. Damn. Let's try to get her magic up. I guess today's my lucky day. Last one. So, uh. These are the realities of war. Somebody already asked me if I would play, uh, The Witcher 3, which I may do once I finish it. I'm already pretty far. I mean, as far as can be expected from playing last night, I think I played from, like, 7 till midnight. About. Somewhere abouts there. Wait, how do I? I thought I could turn the camera. Maybe not. Oh, now it's fixed camera. All right, well, let's save here, even though I have a save spot back there. Mostly. Okay, let's. Let's give her a gift. Let's give her an apple. And then we'll talk to her. I assume you're supposed to, uh... Oh, this gripping love story. Well, anyway. Let's go ahead and save. I'm just gonna save in new slots. I don't really care. Doesn't matter. There's nothing I ever wanted more than was an infinite memory card. Okay, here we go. Let's search down here. Well, few good. I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to be heading. Oh, is that treasure? Is that treasure I see? Oh no, it's one of those stupid stones. Dun, 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 dun. Let's finish this quickly. Oh, 
want to be able to kill most things, like, with... Like, one combo hit. But I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. It was over before it started. I, I really want to get her goods going. Her greats. That was awful. Slow down. Can you see that? No. Hmm. Weird. No, that's probably why it wasn't primary. Um, let's do this real quick. Okay, yeah, Wreath is in the party. Oh, of course. I think she only Let's has her do our best. I remember how to like change styles and all that. Uh, that's more damage than I'd like. Let me help. Follow my lead. Don't do anything foolish. Alright, come on. That wasn't so bad. So wish I could hit multiple. X. <laughs> what? I'm ready. She's gonna die. Because <laughs> there's not enough chi to heal, which is really stupid. I want to hit this one. Uh. Too quick. By the way, watch out for that. These are the realities of war. Is that the best you can do? Ah, oh, come on. Gosh, now I'll be like, no fire chi. Like, just walk over and kick it. 
Okay, well, fuck that. It was over before it started. We can do better than that. Get their heels up. I wish you could like express this process. I mean, I guess the express way would be to uh, ooh, hey, treasure would be to uh, just heal first thing in battle. Uh -uh, question mark required. No idea what that is. Nice to just treasure. Oh, let's uh, let's save state. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say, that's not so bad. Okay, you're a jerk. Thank you. I feel better already. Not doing shit for damage. Sure thing going so slow. And she's probably gonna be knocked out. Nope. It sucks that your heal is devoted on how well you press a button. Thanks. Follow my lead. I thought I was going to miss. Yeah, attack him. Here comes like mega damage attack. Not doing a whole lot of damage. Alright, I might as Trinity drive this. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. I feel better already. Nope. 
Fuck that. Wow, this guy's annoying. Now with your Trinity Drive. Ah, new record. Multi punch time. Nope. Yeah, multi punch time. To just slash him while he does that, or like walk away. Seriously, you could take like a slow walk away the second he starts doing that. It was over before it started. Well done, everyone. Oh, at least we all got level ups. And a lot of money. How's it going, Nicodem? I expected that to be like some hidden boss area that would be like super difficult, but it wasn't. I mean, it was annoying, but that was just about it. Also, uh, playing The Witcher so far, pretty enjoyable. Witcher 3, but... Just run away! Ah. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. You know, having not played any Witcher games before. Keep it up! But... Ah! Bull honky. Um... I know, I mean, The Witcher 3 is, is interesting. I mean, the way it's made, I really wish they just combined all three Witchers, because it's like uh, a like Skyrim, but with a lot more RPG-heavy elements. Ugh. Is that the best you can do? To learn your next move up. Ah, uh, irritating. Is that the best you can do? Ah, of course. How about this? What with all your school and everything? You don't have time for it, or you need a better computer. I'm still not dead. There we go. How about this?
Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play Witcher 3 until... Um, until I finish it first play, because I want to, like, play Watch it out. myself, then... Like, actually start streaming it. Oh, bullshit. Ugh. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, usually my wife and I at night watch stuff. So, uh, instead of watching stuff, I just play it. How's it going, Zemeon? So... I mean, I have plenty of time to play it, because I can play for like a couple hours at night, which is nice. Yeah. Let's finish this quickly. Ah! I hate that. Yeah. The women designs are good. The male designs, not so much. Oh, why don't you have any bar? She's gonna take the damage. That won't work on me. There's always time for that. Don't do it. Let me help. Triangle style. Uh. Triangle style. Bullshit! Uh, I hate this uh, fight system. It really is awful. I wish I had like an auto thing. Only because it needlessly extends combat. It was over before it started. Everybody kept their own meters at least, that would be nice. Is that the best you can do? Also, at some point, uh, I may maybe this Wednesday or Thursday stream some uh Hohokum. Or just finish Wolfenstein all in one go. The first Wolfenstein. Although I didn't download it today, which I should have. It was over before it started. All too easy.
But it's also tough because Life is Strange Episode 3 comes out tomorrow, I believe. So, <sighs> I wish my wife was home more often so we could I could get through games faster. She's usually working. Let's she finish this quickly. No, not at all. No, uh, I mean, she works. And she usually does, uh, like, longer hours at work. Fuck this system. No. No. I want to attack that one. Ugh. I swear to god, they wait until you're just about to do your combo to attack, and that's the only time they attack. the wrong one. Yes, of course you are. Ugh, yeah right, that would never happen. better already. There we go. One of them better die. It was over before it started. Yeah, actually someone recently asked me to I can still if manage. I was going to switch her, because I think he doesn't want to buy it. He just wants to like see it. Which I totally get. But I'm gonna beat it first. I don't think it'll take that long. Because I'll probably have a separate save where I do all my. Like, uh. Thank you. Collect I every little already. thing. And I already missed some stuff. These are the realities of war. Well done, everyone. I got the digital, so I got the season pass, and it was like 60 bucks, so it wasn't bad. I got, there was like a sale deal, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So. It was great, too, because the release wasn't at midnight, it was at like 7 o'clock my time, like 7 o'clock p.m. my time. Oh, apparently I've been going backwards this entire time. Put your sword away. No, 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 no. Cancel. Let's just run up there. Oh well, get some grinding in. No. I mean, I don't find any problem with it. It has the usual problem that most games have, like, when I play even PC games for a very long time, it's like the longer I play, the more messed up the game gets. And The Witcher was having, like, little bugs with the horses, like, because I had a lot of, lot, a lot of things on screen. Um, 
that it was getting a little messy, but it was like the effects were looking choppy, but not like bad. I mean, it's also nice that compared to like the what PS3, 360, Xbox One versions, it's actually in 1080p and it looks nice. The only problem with a lot of 1080p games, though, is that they look like the character models and stuff look like cheap. Like sometimes in character models, like under the neck gets weird folds. They have like perfect faces, but then they have like single palette necks, and it looks awkward. Yeah, well, I mean, the, tra the trailers are all, you know, pre-renders and everything. So... It was over before it started. Well done, everyone. I mean, I've never understood the, like, let's show you pre-renders for the trailer. You know, I I've never gotten that. Like, I get it if you're going to show, like, an opening to show, like, the story or something. But a lot of game companies don't do it that way. And I think that's really stupid. I always think back to like, like, the obvious ones like Halo 2, how they showed all these like super smooth, like beautiful images. Yeah. Um, and then, uh,. When you actually play the game, it looked like muddy dog shit. And then, like, people were like, The Killzone 2 trailer looks like there's no way you could do that in game. And then, uh, when I played the game, it was very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Whenever they show, like, quote-unquote gameplay sessions, like, they... You can tell that everything's, like, on maximum high res. Yeah, one of my friends had, like, Skyrim mods that used, like... 92% of his processor and GPU, like, just, like, loading the hell out of it, and I was like, wow, I was like, you can barely play the game, but it looks, like, super pristine, it's like, that's kind of pointless, like, I'd rather something play smoothly than look pretty. Yeah. You need to get like a new $800 graphics card to play it. Okay, that was needless. No, but I've he did have the he switched around some mods and showed the uh, the uh, dangly wieners one, where like you take off your pants and it's just like a dangly long wiener did you that hear? just flops there. The blast worm that was captured is a spy for the four warriors. Really, man, whoever got him will get a nice reward. Is that all you can think about? What I'm trying to say is that there's a chance we'll find out some secret. And after that, he'll be publicly executed. Huh? Probably.
there. Because they can insert dangly floppy dicks into any game they want. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Why do they use old film reel when they live nah. in like a medieval world? Like sepia film. It's kind of weird. This isn't <gasps> Fatal Frame. <gasps> Well, that'll teach you to touch yourself at night. I'm looking for the man with the monkey lips. How did that happen? I actually really enjoy Life is Strange. I like that like certain decisions have different consequences. And in general, it's like a, a pretty interesting story. And it's like, I don't know, it has interesting debate. I love how they're like, we know exactly where they're going. Well, where the fuck, where, where are they going? You guys didn't tell me where they were going. I guess we have to go explore the field more or something? And I have to say, for all those, like, annoying, like, like, Walking Dead-style games. Is there, like, a way to look? No. I wish this game had, like, objective. So I guess we're heading to the Valley of Luster. I'm going to assume, because that's towards Yason territory. Oh yeah, I forgot to have my sword out. See, like Let's for, finish this quickly. For me, I think it's kind of like a a step in the right direction for adventure games. Because you really can make, like, a bigger choice. Like, I think it's it's taking, like, Mass Effect. Yeah. It's taking, like, all those Mass Effect decisions, which were interesting, but ultimately futile. And, like, in The Witcher, decisions kind of make a difference so far, but they don't seem to make a big one. Oh, wrong button. But in Life is Strange, like, when you make a decision, it's like a serious decision. And they're like, one-time use decisions. Like, there's a few that you can take back, like at the end of an episode, you can rewind a decision. Ah, why do I keep pressing X?
I mean, I think my biggest problem with, like, PC Master Race stuff is, is that, like, you can keep getting better and better graphics cards, but eventually we're going to need, like, a hardware change. Like, quantum computers or something that is stronger. No, you can be a complete scum. It was over before it started. You can go ahead and let everybody die if you really want to. It just hurts you in the long run. But you can, it's still completable. In chapter two, you can choose to shoot somebody. Quantum computers are uh, usually referred to as uh, multiple CP units that divide out, like using uh, four lower grade processors, like using you know whatever processor you want, but using four of the same processors, and then being able to subdivide the tasks between all four of them in a way that would accelerate. Um, the computations. But I'm gonna be right back and do something real quick while he heals. But I mean, I think the biggest problem is is that computer architecture is still pretty primitive and needs a big, 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 big upgrade soon. Yeah. Like, that's the thing is, is that the original PSPs with uh, the cell architecture was good, it's just the problem that it's hard to get it to work correctly. Because there's often times in PSP architecture where it will send like either the same information or overlap information. Or like two different processors working on the same problem whoever completes it first. And that's how you get like weird hiccups where games would freeze and stuff. It's a good idea. It's just, I don't think people are ready for it. I don't think programmers were ready for it. There weren't a lot of good tools for working on it. It was over before it started. The PS3's idea for the cell processor basically wouldn't have worked. At least not the way they wanted to. Yeah. Well, that's because everybody's so used to single kernel operations, which is It was over before dumb. it started. All too easy. I mean, at this point, GPUs overtake CPUs in terms of, like, processing power, but we still use, you know, CPUs, which is weird. Yeah. But, uh, Sega knew there was no good way for them to be able to afford to do that. I know Sony and the Sega Technical Institute for Sega CD were working on ways to do, use like dual processors and things like that pretty early on, even trying like, which eventually led to like dual cores, which dual cores are nice and all, but you're still worried about the rail that leaves. Minette. Yeah, 
Dreamcast, a console that will destroy all other consoles from Sega, and then people will figure out how to pirate it on other consoles. People just like uh, their PS2 Xbox fiasco. Maybe he's named after a blow Russian blowjob. I don't know. Let's finish this quickly. Well, I mean, the problem is, is being able to logically divide things. Like, technically, if you did a powerful processor with two lighter processors, it would make more sense to use the better processor to divide up the tasks. Um, and then it was over before it started. Uh, have the two work on it, so that way, like really heavy tasks that couldn't be handled by the smaller processors, like basically like minimal operations, would be fed right through do? to uh, to the weaker processors. Tell me to keep it up. Yeah, they've done tests with them, but they haven't come out with anything that's been like really earth shattering. Is that all you're gonna do? I don't have a healer. Please kill him. I did it. Right, how about we move you away? Yeah, attack a kid. Lucky hit. Yeah. Well, they were smart to put a GPU in it. But I mean, I I'd focus on awesome. central operations. Like GPUs are good, but I mean, a GPU really is only as importantly good as you know the CPU in it and what it can delegate to it. And the rails on the actual board. These yeah. are the realities of war. Well done, everyone. healer, so now you take damage like crazy. My only major problem with Sega Saturn was the CPU freeze problem. It would always freeze and lock up. Yeah.
And then somehow they made the Dreamcast. Everyone ready? I mean, you just look at how long it took for companies to get like dual core and quad core and like eight core support. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't played much of this game. One that's already damaged. Thank you. Jeez, your wait time is obscene. Most of them you have to mod now to get uh, batteries working in them. Battery memory. I did it. There's actually a place uh, in the mall near me that sells like uh, a Genesis Nintendo NES or the Super Nintendo and they uh, also have a CD based one that emulates Sega CD, Sega Saturn and one other system. I think it, I don't know, I don't think it's PlayStation One, but it's something else. It's not 3DO or CDI. It might be Jaguar CD, but it all. I mean, it's expensive. It's like three hundred dollars, but you can emulate all of the all of them apparently pretty smoothly. I thought they were a special battery. Maybe the European ones, but the American batteries, you need to like buy a mod kit, because nowhere sells batteries that fit it. At least not that I've seen. Is that the best you can do? We've done well. <laughs> Just get some jumper cables and uh, hook, a, hook a car battery to it. I don't remember what my cousin's looks like on the inside. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a flat battery, though. I thought it was like a weird, like a really weird type of battery. But, I don't know. I might be looking at something else's battery memory. Treasure in this is really boring. Okay, 
Wait, seriously? Let's finish this quickly. Ah. They get an air. They get a over marine. I, I don't know the opposite of a, a dom marine. Instead of a submarine, I get a dot marine. It was over before it started. They bought a submarine from IKEA. It was over before it started. A uh, sub and floofer. Is that the best you can do? Enemies coming at you started. is so like half well ass. Done, everyone. It's like, nah. it's like, yeah, we're we're getting there. I like the wait for it too. It's like, ah, uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's finish this quickly. God damn it. It's like impossible to catch enemies when they're running. If they're moving, you can't hit them. Like. Is that the best you can do? Today's my lucky day. Is that the best you can do? I don't even know what he's attacking. There's real, like, there's no really good choice on... I did it! Aiming for your targets. It's just like, eh, Don't you'll hit something. About me. No worries. the best you can do? Are you gonna hit the wrong one? Yeah, of course you are. Why would you hit the one that has, like, no hit points left? Why would you do that? That's just silly. Even though you're, you know, aimed on him. Uh...
That was kind of cool. These are the realities of war. Kill this asshole. It was over before it started. All too easy. Uh, I wish you could do like combo attacks with people or something or like some kind of interesting thing. If the combat just stays like this the entire game, I'm really not sure. I'll just try to rush through this. Ah, I was gonna try to avoid him and take the treasure. I probably should have healed. I'm just gonna put that down. I'll do my best. Great damage there. Yeah. Something remotely interesting. Feels really uninspired. I want to attack this stick white. Cut out my Trinity Drive just because you decided to attack, I'm gonna be pissed. Stop getting up in my face when I'm trying to kill the other dude. It was over before it started. I'll do my best. She might be able to get two attacks off of this instantly. And not do any damage in the process. Really? Dude, just give up. you're able to like stack but the stack is so short that it's like eh it just makes me want to play Legend of Dragoon instead It was over before it started. Ugh. That's the other thing I hate in games. I hate when you kill people well done, in a battle. 
but then you get away, or then they get away. Like, I always find that to be, like, cheap. <laughs> Do you really love your mecha, Zaman? Or you love so many games that were inspired I'm by sorry. the system. It's my fault. Wreath, it's okay now. An apology won't cut it. Shut up. Heron. <sighs> she thought you were going to hit her again. Let's head back. So far, yeah. Yeah. So I said that this one is inspired by those games. See something in the items. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's better. him. Yeah, Zone of the Enders is a classic. My only problem with games like that is that, like, <clears throat> a long time ago, there was Descent, and Descent was a great, like, three-dimensional combat game that really... Well, that's because of limitations. I mean, best. they were creating, like, a pretty good like, three-dimensional space. Yeah. And, I mean, it was... It was good, but, like, if you're upside down or using, like, pitch yaw, like, it had a lot of issues or would, like, start freaking out because it always it wants you to be, like, started. matched to the horizon. So you can't really move and true like like a true circle essentially like there's one part where I was like halfway upside down and it started fucking up really bad and I got like stuck in a wall because it was like trying to do something yeah so the enders is ball short it is way too short It was over before it started. Plus it only took like, what, two hours to beat it? Like if you played it quick and skipped cutscenes? With all the cutscenes and like... Waits, it's like four hours because most of it is like freaking cutscenes, and then it's like short little battle parts. These are the realities of war. Well done, everyone. I've always been a Robotech fan myself, if I'm going to watch Mecha. 
Yeah. I've always liked uh, Robotech. And uh, not Gundam Wing as much as 0083. Which 0083. And also... The... Instead of using mechas, having ship-on-ship -ship combat from... Uh, oh my god, I can never remember the name. Let's do our best. I have it on uh, DVD or Blu-ray. Outlaw Star. Outlaw Star is like I like it has mecha stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. All the Robotech games are awful. I don't think there's a single good Robotech game or Macross game. There's one for like turbo like the duo CD but I've never had a chance to play it I think it's a shooter maybe I have played it. I don't remember but I'm pretty sure it's just a shooter like a like Xevious R type style shooter it was over before it started yeah I don't like protect missions Oh, come on, really? Do the same as everybody else, but it does not work. Yeah. Truthfully, I hate wireless controllers. They piss me Thank off you. all the time. I feel better already. Like I like being able to be like farther away from my console, but at the same time, like they're so wireless controllers are still so inaccurate and miss. And I hate when I'm in the middle of a game and the controller dies, and then I have to pick up like a cold, nasty controller. I try to avoid them, but like the one I'm playing on right now is a wired controller. Now they only come wireless, which I really hate. Let me help. Thank you. I feel better already. Oh, Zaman, I forgot to mention. Apparently, someone started speaking in your like monkey talk language on uh, stream right after you left. It was over before it started. On uh, Wolfenstein, he started speaking Russian or typing Russian, I guess. Just kill it, please. I think you just missed him. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys could talk about all the broken glass everywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to write that down. Oh man. Phew. That uh that happened. Maybe. I think tomorrow I'm going to play the other uh Wolfenstein. That, that's what I find absolutely hilarious. Let's do our best.
It was over before it started. Frankly, you're all just Borat to me. All of you have mustaches and hate Jews. No, actually, that's not what I see. Whenever I think of Russians, I always think of like the the fat guy with the shaved head who's Is like, "I'll kick your ass, you I'll do? kick your ass," and then you punch him and then he cries. Instead of a heretic, I mean Russian Orthodox. Over before it started. Well done, everyone. Ah, uh, well, it happens. This game has a lot of pointless wandering, though. So it's not like you're going to be missing all that much. Let's Never finish gonna this quickly. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. It's America. That will... Me singing will wow, officially destroy his amazing. internet. It was over before it started. If you're gonna sing karaoke, you should, uh... You should sing G-Dragon Crayon. For maximum torture. before it started. What the hell's that smell? Is that the best you can do? Tired of seeing the same attack over and over again. All too easy. It was cool like the first couple times. Now it's just getting old. All right, I'll I'll watch your video. I think they need to heal anyway, so I can leave the. Uh... Yeah, let's heal. Uh, uh. I'm 
probably gonna get like flagged when I put this on YouTube. That's a thing. I wanted to see what they fall into. That's what I really want to see. Because that looked like they fell, like, really far. Yeah, see, that's, like, all he has. That last one? Fairy. Oh, I thought it said Fairy Tempest. Oh, these guys have like one move. Oh, well, probably because I haven't unlocked the rest of them. Let's see. That one's almost mastered. I just want to keep, like, one enemy in battle and keep doing that over and over again. Exactly. While I go run around and fight, you can enjoy this. I'm sure you'll love every second of it. Not sure. Sounds awful. Get off the first hit on you. That won't work on me. Sounds awful. The uh, American famous one that almost everyone I know knows is uh, Sailor Moon and the Seven Dragon Balls where uh, Sailor Moon gets a Dragon Ball up her vagina and then turns all Futanari. And then Tuxedo uh, bangs her while doing her in the butt with a remote. It's uh, special. And it has like the worst animation quality. It looks like it was like drawn in MS Paint. It's, it's really bad. Huh. I don't have any drop frames, so it was over before it started. Just refresh the page, homie. Cause I'm not showing any drop frames and mine's still smooth. Oh, okay. Um yeah. She, uh, Sailor Moon gets a Dragon Ball in her snatch and goes all Futanari, and then Tuxedo Mask starts banging her while she blows herself, and he's sticking a remote in her butthole that's, uh, flipping through security cameras of other things, like Gundams having sex. It's, uh, interesting, and it all looks like it was done in MS Paint. And, like, it's clearly drawn by someone who's never seen, like, a human female's body before. Whoa!
What? Oh my god, game, stop being a dick. It's a, uh, it's a thing. Yeah, I got it for like, like most of the people I know, it was, it was like a bootleg you could buy in Chinatown for like point nothing. It was really like, Thanks. like you'd buy it for like three dollars, and it was like, oh my god, it has Sailor Moon, that's hilarious. And then you'd watch it, and you'd be like, what the fuck did I just do? Why did I waste three dollars? Dude, there's literally a scene where... Ah! Oh, I'm sure it's out there. You can probably find it on the internet. There's a scene where Gundams start, like, banging each other. And they have, like, humongous penises. And then, uh... The kid who dies in Gundam Wing is like sitting there masturbating and gets it like all over his face. It's uh it's a thing. Thank you. I feel better already. Good for you. Alright, let's try. Damn it. I wanted to get her mastery of this. Thank you. I feel better already. Is that the best you can do? I want to try to master this one. Her last one. Ah. Thanks. Get like one more shot at this. There we go. Good. It's a pretty significant heal. Thanks. That's a thing. These are the realities of war. Yeah, you know, I think in one stream, whenever you and Nicodem are here, uh, my stream becomes so inappropriate. It's like, Is we, we instantly cycle through all of the things that offend most people. It's kind of nice. It also makes me glad that I don't post These the stream chats in my videos. We've done well. But that definitely sounds like something I have to see. I'll have to look that up. Finding hentai online is pretty damn easy, especially old hentais. Alright, there's obviously a treasure chest down here, and I want it. Is it going to be one of those stupid things instead, one of those stupid mana fountains? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's go back to Lester. Bo Lester. No problems. I don't care. That's rough. Actually, I had another person who's a viewer who never comments who wanted me to do Witcher. Dude, I keep getting non-stop, like, Gmail messages and, like, Twitter messages from these companies who want me to pay for, uh, pay for subscribers. 
and like people to watch my stream. It's like I don't want to pay a bunch of people in China to watch my stream if they're not going to enjoy it. That's definitely her. She opened the cell door and set the prisoner free. This is a violation of the law. Obviously. Here we go again. It must be easy working for the Alliance. All you have to do to get paid is go by the book. According to these men, that woman freed the Yasun prisoner. Is that true? What are you talking about? Trying to play dumb, huh? I saw it with my own eyes. She's the one who opened the door. You're pretty bull. The general on your side. Kalentz, <laughs> explain yourself. There are rumors that she freed the Yasone. Is it true? Are you crazy? I told you not to trust them. Why didn't you listen? Kalentz. General Legrand, we should arrest her immediately. Wait. She's a priestess who participated in the recent operation. But she has amnesia. She remembers nothing about the Alliance or the war against the Yasun. She's even forgotten who she is. What proof do you have? The blast worm she freed has vital information about the four warriors. And now, we've lost him. Arrest her. If she is a priestess, then Amabat should handle this. But... Enough! Be grateful that we didn't arrest you mercenaries, too. Now, come with us, priestess. No. What are you doing? The prisoner must still be in the area. If I recapture him, will you let her go? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you'd go to that much trouble. She saved my life. I'm just returning the favor. Very well. If you can capture the Yasone, we'll set her free. You're going to trust this brute? Not only is the girl suffering from amnesia, but it seems her mentality has regressed to that of a child. Punishing her would serve no purpose. Please, give them the opportunity to redeem themselves. Hmm. How much longer do you plan on making excuses for them? My sincerest thanks, General Legrain. You wait here. Probably. Yeah. And he's in love with her. <laughs> Typical Japanese. I'm in love with her and her childlike mind. Also, man, these voice actors, like, half of them are competent, and the other half of them are like, I don't even know. Maybe in some way, I would assume. But then again, there are people who are into like weird diaper Everyone fetishes ready? and stuff.
It was over before it started. It was over before it started. Oh my god. All too easy. It was over before it started. It was over before it started. I would definitely say yes to that. I also would think it's kind of creepy. Yes. They float around in a field and then subpar action RPG. You love attacking the mage, girl. Like, right away. You don't even do that much damage to her. That won't work on me. I did it all! Music isn't bad. It's not really well inspired. It reminds me of, uh, Farscape. No, I haven't. I don't pay much attention to Kickstarter because I'm poor. If you're getting this many grades, you should do, like, way more damage. They're still making new Castlevania games, so why would they need a Kickstarter? And if you really love like Castlevania games, just make your fucking own. Is that the best? It's not that hard do? to like modify things and make a new hero. Like that guy who came out with uh, Axiom Verbs, it's just like a Metroid clone. It was over before it started. Nope, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hit this guy twice. Interesting. All these people, man, leaving major companies, it's weird. Get yourself killed. Time for you to run away. Too bad it's not. A... Oh, the girl in the banana costume. Oh, do you mean the main character? Because that's a dude.
It was over before it started. Not really, you almost died, asshole. Well done, everyone. Ow. There's probably going to be talking here, but then I'll look at it. Great art style. Oh, okay, yeah, I have heard of this, I just haven't played it. Or haven't, uh, seen the Kickstarter for it. Yeah, I've definitely seen that. I've seen that top picture with her shooting the dragon thing. I don't know where I saw it. I think it was... How was that? Um, that art looks like... Uh, Grim Grimoire. Um, and that style, like the vanilla wear art style. Which is like really intensive. I don't really care if this guy Damn it. Azel! Azel! Hang in there! Captain? Is everyone... alright? Bye. Yeah. Thank goodness. I finally... become useful. <laughs> We've always needed you. Once we take you back to Lester, and get you treated, you'll be fine. Okay. Damn the Yasun. Let's go. Well, they should have gone with like Atlas and Vanilla Wear and done that way, and they would have killed it because the Dragon's Crown is awesome and its art style and everything is so smooth. It's just hard to play because you have to repeat so much stuff. And they still need to play Odin's Sphere, which might be my next one to do of this because the PAL version apparently works. But if they went with Vanillaware, I mean, that would be awesome. It would look so much better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the Symphony of Night, Lament of Innocence style of artwork, but... Ugh. Getting rid of all the good characters out of my party. Well... Good. Don't think no. All right. But I personally liked like the Game, Game Boy Advance ones and the. Lament of Innocence, like their style, was very good. I 
hate having to switch back and forth between my two, like using the D-pad for menus. It's a really bad decision. Is this guy I need to talk to? Really? The ones for Game Boy Advance are amazing. And Symphony of the Night, of course. I mean, Symphony of the Night is really good, but I almost like the Game Boy ones better. They're a little more concise. The Game Boy Advance ones, that is. Yeah. Alright, where is... Is this the person that identifies stuff? I find eight different people. this the identify person? Yeah, here we go. Finally. not surprising. Um, well, it's like in uh, Nocturne, there's going to be a lot more dude enemies. But uh, they didn't end up doing that. Let's go to the accessory person, see if they have a silver pendant. Upgrade one of my weapons. Nah. I don't really care. Any day now, game. Any day, thank you. The worst part is, it's not, it's a delay, like, in system. It's not like, it's like it's a preset delay. Like in some of the concept art for Nocturne, you can find the uh, Whore of Babylon with her boobs out. Which would, you know, make sense for her. Right, do I just like talk to that general guy now or what? Isn't he like right over here? 
I still don't know any of this town layout. It's not very functional. See over here. Yeah. The guy who does Shin Megami is really weird because on uh like, well, in the American version, the Alp has her boobs covered. In Digital Devil Saga, she has them covered in both, but in the original Nocturne, she didn't. And in the, uh... One of the editions, you could... get it that way. Oh yeah. Uh, what I was going to say is uh, when he makes ugly things, he gives them like huge, long, pointy nipples. And when he makes things that are supposed to be like sexually attractive, he gives them like little tiny nipples. It's really strange. I mean, I it's get it. It's all over now. They're letting you go. You don't like being in the dark, do you? Sorry about that. Okay. What happened to the Yasun? You're still worried about the Yasun? He won't escape again. He fought back. So I killed him. Well, not really what happened. Could you? Because the Yasun are our enemies. Crying won't change that. How can you feel sorry for them after being locked up in here? I'm sorry. But I... I don't want to hear your apologies. If you don't believe me, then go and see for yourself how this world works. The world won't wait for you to regain your memory. Yeah. The Do you harlot. think that all the Yasun should be killed? Kalans? Of course. Even children? When those children grow up, they'll turn against us. How do you know that? They might not. That was weird. Weird slowdown. You're too naive. It's easy to believe that crap when you've never had anything taken away from you. Yeah, the <clears throat> the harlot has two. There's one where her dress comes up and just covers her boobs, like a, like a medieval frock kind of thing. And then there's one with like her boobs straight up out. Yeah, well, it's hard to find artwork for Shin Megami without getting like. 8,000 persona pictures and all the other things. It's so hard to be specific.
It's a long time ago. I don't remember where. Long Hi there. time ago. Mind if I join you? No, I'm not. I'm not just pulling your leg. Please. Don't be upset with Callens. He did all he could to save you. But... Why did he say those things? He just wants you to recognize the harsh realities of the world before you end up getting hurt. You know, Callens isn't the only one who has a grudge against the Yasun. If the Yasun hurt me, do you think I would hate them too? I wouldn't want something like that to happen to you. We're facing those hardships so that others don't have to. So much hatred has built up. This war can no longer be stopped simply with words. But I believe the war will end someday. Even if the only thing I can do now is fight. That's right, I do poop out coffee. Drink enough monster, I probably do poop out coffee. And then I sell it to Starbucks. <laughs>